Hey, oh, YouTube, Music Man. Let me turn that off. Let's try this again now. Hey, oh, YouTube, Music Man 1310 here. Welcome. And um, I do want to say that, um, first off, I know that I'm probably going to get a lot of comments regarding um, missing a video a couple of days ago after being so good on the daily um, grind. But here's what happened. I did a car vlog like, well, similar to this, I wasn't actually driving, I was in my parking lot, and I was talking about my opinions on drift being added into the esports rotation. So first off, I think that adding drift is like, it shouldn't be that big of an issue, nah, but people are making it out to be, and you know what, that's human nature, we, uh, we have to complain about something, apparently. But nah, anyways, that's my concise opinion, if you want a full detailed one, I'll be sure to get a better one for you no know, for um next time or something like that maybe next monday but overall it's like i want to talk about a few things one thing that i want to talk about was drift another thing what well, is that um as of yesterday i got picked up by a competitive team for umg online for you know, for um pretty much just for competition really we're all just a bunch of guys trying to make it to the pro leagues so we have that thing in common which is important if you're trying to go pro like I am that you need to have that thing in common at least now here's the thing um don't the name of the team is not going to be 1310 gaming it's actually unseen legacy that's the name of the team so but here's the thing I'm not fully sure about these guys because I've only tried one game with them and we were kind of, we were kind of like um, confused as to what we were going to do, which is natural because we just formed. But at the same time, it's like they were looking at things completely different and I didn't want to say anything because I wasn't the one that made the team. I actually got brought into the, the team, unlike 1310 Gaming where... You know, where it's like, okay, I know that at least for me and Akil, who is also on Unseen Legacy, um, we work well together because I have a hunch, and Akil trusts me on that, on that hunch, and like nine out of ten times, no, nine out of eleven times, my hunch is right, and my hunch is right, and whether or not Akil wants a gun battle, that's up to him, but. Overall, there's that bit of trust between me and Akil, and if you don't know who Akil is, he's my duo partner, so. With that, it's like trying out these new kids. It's like, um, okay, something's not clicking. Can we work on it? Is it something that we have to change? Is it something that we need to work on ov overall? Because here's what happened we did one UMG online after practicing in ranked. Now, for UMG, what we did is we did Solar Hardpoint, Biolab Uplink, and then we were going to do Biolab C CTF to make it a best of three, but we didn't make it that far. Yeah, so what I think ended up happening was that we were all just confused as to what we were going to do, not to mention that we were kind of like brought down from our hardpoint loss because we just got swept on hardpoint. I'm not going to lie. We just got swept right there. It's like we didn't know what we were going up against and it kind of smacked us in the face. So... I don't know. Maybe today. Maybe today we're going to do some more just to see how how we deal with different deep team comes because another issue that I'm seeing is that we technically have two objective no three objective play uh, players me Akil is also an objective play uh, player more or less and and um Cali Kid who is the one that actually made Unseen Legacy so that's an issue right there so I decided to drop down from being objective and and play on a support role uh, now Akil and now, Akil is like, I don't know how to explain it without sounding offensive, but when it comes to when it comes to Akil, he knows what he's doing most of the time. The other times, it's like you kind of need to push him, and I don't think that Calicate is that good of a leader on his, no, on his leave. So, if you're ex so by saying that I joined this team for the competition of Call of Duty, one thing that I do want to make clear is. Don't expect me to go from Music Man 1310 uh, to Unseen Music Man because my issue is that we're so new, I get it, but at the same time, something's not clicking and it's not making me feel not right. So, and so with that in mind, it's like I told them that that I've left 1310 Gaming, 
but the truth is the opposite. I haven't left it. I'm still a founding member, if not the leader of 1310 Gaming. I just had to move on that role to uh, to my brother for now. It's only temporary because I don't think I'm going to be staying on this team for very long considering my history with you know, with um, full competitive te teams. So with, so with that, that's another segment that I want to get, uh, get rid of. Last segment that I want to uh, do, I, I kind of want to make this a short video because last time what happened was that the video uploaded, but I had to upload it through my cell phone. So what ended up happening was that it uploaded, but then it failed because it couldn't convert the file. And I'm like, wait, what? This, this is the first time it happened. So I wanted to short it down, but I do want to leave with this. For 7.30 tonight, in replace of a stream, I'm actually going to be posting another vi uh, video. This is going to be another challenge because I did see um, a couple of suggestions in the comments when I did the push-up challenge. So what I'm going to do, and you guys can do this too, is I'm going to do something called the Gun Game Challenge. Here's how it's going to uh, work. With the way Gun Game works, if you're really good, you're going to go positive 100% of the time, maybe 99%. Uh, maybe 99% of the time, but here's how it's going to work One death is three push-ups. Okay, one death is three push-ups. This is all going to be in the description for you to follow along as well as well, so So one death is three push-up every kill takes away a push-up that you have to do so say that So say that you're you're two and one to start off that means that that one death gives you three but the two kills deducts two from it, so you only have to do one. One. Here's the catch, though. Every intentional melee adds a push-up. So every intentional melee is one pu is one push-up. Now, this you kind of need to like review your video a a little bit, simply because it's like it's kind of hard to to differentiate between intentional and unintentional, and you had to. For instance, say you're in the crossbow and you need to reload, but there's a guy right in your face. Me, I would have no choice but to melee him just so I don't die. I don't die. That's one. That's one exception. If you have to, then it doesn't count as intent, as intentional. It doesn't count towards a push-up. If it was unintentional, like a panic knife, that doesn't count. And you have. And normally, I can tell when people panic knife. The third exception to a melee, and this is and this is the last exception, if the guy is the, on the last gun that you meleeed, meaning the crossbow, then it's perfectly okay. Here's why: I'm going to do that too. No, too. So, if I can get away with meleeing the top tier guy, then you should too. No, too. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I probably went on longer than I wanted to. But regardless, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more. I do have Twitter, it'll be in the description below. And this is MusicMan1310, signing out. Peace.